beautiful people. Okay, so I'm going to do a pin curl tutorial. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need a curl cream, you're going to need some bobby pins, and you're going to need either a hair bonnet or a hair scarf. Um, I'm going to use a crocodile clip um, to section myself off. You're going to need a comb or a brush or something like that to help you section. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, one of the things you'll wanna know is that this is your base and this is your end. So if I talk about turning something towards the base, away from the base, if I'm saying turn the base forward, you're gonna come forward to your face. If you're gonna turn the base backwards, it's gonna come back here, okay? Okay, so you've come to the last part of what you need pin curled. So this is going to be your bang area. So you can see that I separated everything that I use for my bangs. I use a lot for bangs. So I'm going to separate it like normal because I always have a little bit over here. I'm gonna curl, I'm gonna pin curl this one by itself. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's not too tight because it's gonna be right up front. Um, but normally this is the hair that gets tucked behind my ear. If you ever get hung up on when you're curling it, like when you're actually forming this curl, 
like don't worry so does everybody else like look like it's okay just start over start your curl pull your finger out decide what direction it's going to go take your pins pin it you're going to put an X formation. If you're sleeping in them at night, you definitely want to use two pins. Now, you see, I know this piece tomorrow, so I don't have perfectly straight hair. I have layering in my hair. So I'm going to have some of these pieces that are going to stick out because my hair just can't, it, it can't be held like that just because there's too many layers. So this part, you're just going to kind of over direct. So you're going to split your bang in half. Pushing that that way. And the reason for this is because I'm going to, I want volume in my hair tomorrow. So I want to over direct it. So over directing it just means that you're going to like set it the opposite direction that you want it to go. Um, I'm going to be very careful about it. I'm not going to do it like a super lot, but you'll see. I'm just going to split this guy in half this way. This is where it's going to get really tricky for me because I have really short bangs after I gave myself a home haircut. So there is that. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put the base to the back and the curl to the front. I try really hard not to put bobby pins in my mouth. Um, I'll just be honest, it's bad practice. Um, if you're doing it for yourself, that's fine. But most of the time when I'm using bobby pins, I'm doing other people's hair. So I just really try not to put it in my mouth. Every once in a while, you know, something, a bobby pin will slip into the lip, you know, and I try to not make sure it's not actually touching, um, like the interior of my mouth. I'll put it in just in between my lips, but that's still just not hygienic. So I just, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, if you're doing your own hair, whatever, it's your hair, it's your mouth, do what you want. But if you're doing somebody else's, even if you're just doing a girlfriend's hair, like try to refrain from putting that bobby pin in your mouth, because I'll be honest, that's just, you know, we're in this COVID pandemic right now and see two X's. Yeah. So we're in a COVID pandemic, like just keep things out of your mouth and it's just good practice in general. So if you can do it now, you can do it always. I promise. So now we're onto this huge chunk here. Like I have a lot of bang guys. Like I always usually wear a really high bouffant. So what's going to happen is normally this would lay just like this. So when I'm going to pin curl it, it's going to kind of set right here. Almost like it's a middle part. I split this in half, just like I did the other piece. I'm gonna start my curl wrapping it around my finger, right? There are a couple ways to do this. This one is probably the easiest if you've never done a pin curl before. And literally you'll just have a little ball and you're going to walk it up until you get where you want. The base is gonna to go to the back for me and the curl is going to go to the front. Now these don't have to be perfect circles when they're in there. They just need to have that um, curl shape. If you have them put in there, like if it looks like a triangle, it's gonna end up looking like a triangle. But it doesn't have to be perfectly like, where you can see like the coil. Um, as long as it's in a circle like this, you're going to be okay. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about um, if you have glasses. Okay, so here's a couple of tips and tricks. So if you wake up in the morning and you have like little things like this, taking a little bit of heat to it will be just fine. Um, I've got a curl cream in it to help kind of keep that curl in there because I don't have a very big curl in my hair, so it helps with the waviness in my hair. And then these guys for glasses, um, at the end of the night, when you go take your glasses off, you can push this down closer to your scalp, to your scalp, cause you want it to be tight. And then you're just going to readjust those bobby pins. So that way it tucks up. And then that way it's not uncomfortable. Cause I'll be honest, like if I were to go to bed with my glasses on and that wasn't tucked up under there, it'd be really uncomfortable, but it needs to be tucked and it needs to be secure. If you're sleeping in it, you really want to have two bobby pins per one curl. Otherwise it's going to come out and it's not gonna end up the way you want it. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to protect your hair with either a bonnet or a hair scarf. So I could not get a hair scarf in time to do this video, so I'm gonna do a bonnet, so get ready. 
Guys, I am beautiful and I am ready to sleep now and have my pen curls in the morning. Me and my beautiful protective bonnet. It's going to keep my hair nice and secure. These are for edges. That's what this is for. This is to help keep your edges down. I don't have edges, but the bonnet will work. I kind of look like Chef Boyardee. It's fine. It's fine. Who doesn't like Chef Boyardee? I just... See you in the morning. Good morning. All right, let's start taking these pins out. Okay, so this is where we're at. All the pins are out. I'm gonna kinda pull some of these down to start. And then we're gonna get going. It looks crazy right now, but it'll be beautiful, I promise. A lot of this is letting your hair relax. So it may take lots of brushing to start. Don't freak out. Cause yeah, right now my hair looks crazy. So I'm using a brush that has like the boar bristle in it and then regular like plastic ends. Brushing under. So the main part is making sure that you brush under with your brush so that way you're running through the curl that's up here because the Grace Kelly look is more volume towards the bottom and not so much towards the top.
when in doubt, brush it out. Okay, so I've pinned my bangs up because I was noticing that I had this little piece right here. So what I'm going to go through do is I'm going to take the curl cream that I custom blend I'm going to take a little bit and start working it through. This is going to help relax the hair. If your hair has gotten too poofy. So for me, I don't want my hair with this much volume. I know it will relax throughout the day, but I want to put something in it. And I also want to get some sheen at the ends of my hair here. Um, so this custom blend that I make is through um, my line. It's called Reconnect. Um, it's a company that I work with and I custom blend your product for you. So I'm taking some curl cream. This will also help with that. If you feel like you're getting that frizzy look, this is going to help relax that. The whole thing about the Grace Kelly look is that you want to make sure that your ends are tucked in. So if you look like you have like a bunch of ends like this, you're going to want to back comb that. So I'm going to relax this hair by putting some product in it. You will want curl cream and some hairspray. What I love about the curl cream that I currently have is I custom made it for myself for my everyday needs. Um, it's just for me. So when you come into my salon, I custom blend your product and it's made specifically for you and your hair needs. See, I can already see it starting to give me a little more shine and I'm starting to relax a little bit. So I'm going to keep working this in and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to brush some more. Okay, so the other tip to do is to take your hand, well, well you're gonna brush some of this backwards. So I brush some of this back and then I'm gonna take my hand because the Grace Kelly look is kind of, it goes like this at the base and then it pops out. So I'm gonna smooth this down until I get to the end. I still have a little bit of that cream on my hand so it's helping with controlling it. And that helps a whole lot, guys. So I have a lot shorter hair than most um, people who do this Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly's hair is probably like, was actually like down to here. And so it shrinks up when you curl it. So I am doing a form of a Grace Kelly because the other thing is I don't like my bang completely like flat to my head. Hers wasn't technically flat to her head, but you see this little guy, like this little guy is annoying the crap out of me. But that is because that is the shortest piece of my bang and it was caught up in a pin that was farther away. So, it, I mean, it's just really tight. So it will eventually relax, but that's okay. But really, you're just gonna finesse it with your hands. So I'm not having very many issues with like my ends sticking out because the ends are going to be the really important part because if your ends are sticking out, it's going to like look like you have little stragglers. So you're either going to take a, like a boar bristle brush um, that has the bristle and not just a comb or you can take your comb. I don't really like boar bristle on my hair, um, like, the, like the teasing combs. And you're just going to back comb your end just a little bit 
and you're gonna kind of fluff it in there. You can go up higher to create more um, volume in this poof at the bottom, or you can just go straight to the ends. The most important thing is to keep brushing. Brushing is the most important part. It's the most annoying part, but it's the most important part. And then keep making sure that your parts are nice. Like I can feel it separating in the back here, so I'm going to brush it down. And then take my hand in the back and just smooth from the crown to about the where I want it to cut off, which is right here. And then you want this curl to combine in with this just a little bit so it looks cohesive. So I'm going to brush that in and I'm going to take it, combine it with this curl. This is the bang. I'm going to back comb it in just a little bit to try to give it a little hold there to keep it from separating from everything else. So what I'm going to do with this piece, if you have bangs like mine, is I'm pulling it backwards to redirect it into the curl and I'm going to hairspray it. Alcohol free hairspray. And I'm going to let that dry. And then I pin everything back. So now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to take these bobby pins right here and right above my glasses. I'm going to push up and take two of them, and I'm, you're going to crisscross them. This gives a lot of stability. It's gonna help me keep that, but I like this to come forward just a little bit. I want this to be tucked under and this to come forward just a little bit so that way you can see this piece, like when you're taking a picture otherwise, you're gonna look like you have no hair. And then once again, like if you don't like the way something looks, brush it. Take your hand, form it with the curl, and pull it down. If you don't like it, keep going. It's okay to keep brushing. It literally probably took me about 15 minutes worth of brushing to really get this where I wanted it to be. Um, like I said, I don't normally do this um, pin curl style just because my hair is really short, so it really shortens up my hair. But this is the same con same concept, even if you have longer hair, um, you're gonna do the same thing. So I'll kind of give you an overview in just a second. So when you watch the video, I know that I speed things up. So what you're going to do is you're gonna separate your hair. You're gonna do your top section, which is your, your bang area and it's top half. And I went from here to here, right above my temple. Pin that up. You're gonna leave that alone till the very end. And then you're going to take both these sides from the behind the ear and you're gonna do those pieces first. Two pin curls here, two pin curls here. And then you're gonna to go to the back and you're gonna split your back in half, what is left back there. And then you're gonna take those in three sections going this way. So one, two, three. You're gonna have three pin curls here and three pin curls here. And then once that's done, you're gonna release the top half. You're going to remove your bang from the area, pin that, and then you're gonna take the rest and pin curl the rest of the hair that you don't want in the bang area. And then the bang area, so my bang area, if you're looking at me, um, would be, technically be on the right side, but on my body, this is the left side. Um, and you're gonna split that bang in half, split it over, do the two pin curls here, and then you're gonna want these pieces, so that way you can have some volume, so that way you get this little dip here. You're going to keep them more towards the center here. If you pull them down this way, it's going to give you a flatter style. And remember that I did tease mine because I like volume in my bang. So that is going to be the difference, whereas you could just brush it out and not worry about volume, whereas I'm the bouffant babe. I have to have um, a little volume. And you can tell, like, I will be pulling at this all day just because this is different. This isn't what I normally do to my hair, but I like it. I think it looks cute. I got my little Grace Kelly going on my own version of it, two bobby pins here, and that's it. I slept overnight with it in a bonnet. You can do a bonnet or a hair scarf, doesn't matter. Um, make sure they're secure. So I will be honest, these are like half size bobby pins. 
I definitely recommend getting the longer ones because I had a piece of hair that came out. And this is just because what I had. Like, I'll be honest, I didn't go buy new bobby pins because I have this huge pack of them. And I was like, I'll just use those. So regular size bobby pins. Make sure you have a brush with a bore bristle um, because if you just use one with plastic bristles, you're not going to get the finishing look you want because the Grace Kelly look, the pin curl look is all about the fluff at the bottom of the hair. So that bore bristle will help create the fluff. Remember, you're curling under. So when you're styling, you're going to brush it all out and then you're going to take your brush and go underneath. You can use a comb too to hide your ends or you can use a like a teasing comb to brush through, brush through or a thin bore, bore bristle comb to brush through to help hide your ends. That is completely up to you. I just use what I have here because I try to do like what most people have at their home. This was an extension brush that I have when I wear extensions. Um, so it's vented. I can use it with my blow dryer with anything I want. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It was like 15 bucks. Like this is what you'll want. Um, or just a regular bristle. You can go vintage, you can go new school, but you just don't want one that only has plastic bristles. I will say that. So, all right, guys.